Will there be any more fish in the ocean left after Costco opens up their fresh sushi bars nationwide? Yeah, we got to talk about it. This literally could be the beginning of the end for fish, Andrew, because Costco's getting in the sushi game and everybody knows how much volume they push. Anyway, guys, we're going to talk about it. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Check out SmileLastSauce, SmileLastSauce.com. Andrew, Costco's fresh sushi bars are heading to all the U.S. stores. Whoa, so a Originally, the sushi bars, they opened up in Issaquah, Washington, which is nearby where Costco originates from. They were a really big hit, and now they are rolling it out nationwide. I don't know if it's going to be at every single Costco, but essentially, it's going to be at like half the Costco. Right. They've had it in Hawaii for some time. Obviously, they've had it at their Tokyo Costco locations. It looks way better there, honestly. Their nigiri looks just like way fresher, but uh, <laughs> we got to talk about it because like, how did we arrive at this point where Costco is going to start pumping? out an incredible volume of sushi people are asking is it even going to be good is it going to deplete the world's fish source because there's already a lot of reports where people are saying by 2050 either the prices of sushi are going to shoot way up or you're just not going to be able to get it anymore guys has sushi reached its peak consumption we're going to talk about it first i'm going to go through reasons of why sushi is even so popular some reasons that are obvious and some not so obvious reasons and then we're going to go to this discussion guys we are just concerned Asians, right? We're just Asians talking about this. That's why. So please hit that like button. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of Costco sushi. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm not a big fan of really Americanized sushi. Wait, have you general. had it yet though? I had the poke bowls. I didn't get the sushi yet because oh, okay. obviously they didn't really roll it out. I, I didn't go right. to Issaquah. All right. So uh, David, you're, you're bullish on it. I mean, you're bearish on it. Well, I'm just bearish in the sense of like, man, if people fall in love with l not good tasting sushi recipes, then of course, yeah, the world's supply of fish is going down the drain. <laughs> but what if, if people it, got bad taste buds? What if the sushi is decent? Then yeah, then it's a discussion to well, be Well, we'll wait for the reviews to come out, guys. There's some people reviewing it. Anyways, guys, let me just quickly go through the reasons why sushi is so popular because I wonder this question myself. Uh, number one, the healthy perception of sushi. It is fish. It's it's supposed to contain a lot of omega-3s, a lot of proteins. Now, on one downside, people got to think about the mercury poisoning that is in the fish now. But I would say a radiation. lot of people also don't eat raw fish, too. Right. Uh, accessibility sushi has become so Americanized. Not only do you have all these different types of rolls that only have a little bit of raw fish and then mostly cream cheese. Mostly toppings. Right. But also, there's a lot more, like, trained sushi chefs. Like, it's not like you got to train 10 years in Tokyo in a dojo with a samurai to learn how to do sushi like we just know like non japanese like everybody well, people can learn. train for like a week nowadays in america it's not like in japan where they have to train like jiro yeah but i guess uh to be a singular sushi chef it still takes time but to just work at a sushi restaurant very very easy okay customization innovation obviously you can make flavors that are uh, attuned to any type of taste, but I've seen Mexican sushi. I've seen Peruvian sushi. Oh, you're sushi. talking about the Sinaloa sushi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, I think a lot of Americans, white people, and, and people have just been over the time always been infatuated with sushi for a number of reasons even in the 80s when japan was having a boom in america david there was a big sushi boom now it might have not been nigiri and like sashimi it was a lot of california rolls right um also uh, david asians like sushi and they'll buy it cheap like other asians like i really know like a lot of chinese people and i'm one of them I'll eat like affordable sushi. And I know some other hootie two Asians that are fancy that won't even eat medium level sushi. Like they're not going to eat it from Whole Foods or Costco. Right, right. I think I would get sushi from Whole Foods, but I, and I have gotten it from like a Vons or like a Ralph's before back in California, but I, I generally prefer not to. Yeah. Uh, number, uh, another reason, cultural appeal, David. Japan obviously has such a great reputation. The products from Japan have a great reputation. Sushi is one of them too. You're eating raw fish. You only want to eat Japanese raw fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like you could get the Corolla of raw fish, the Camry or the Lexus of raw fish. Right, right, right. Also presentation, aesthetics, the whole culinary tourism. People feel like they're in a different space. It's so cool. Look, I know how to use chopsticks. Oh, did you know I watched a video on YouTube? This is how you're supposed to eat sushi, not with chopsticks, babe. You're supposed to pick it up with two fingers and dip that side in soy sauce and then eat it in one bite. Also, uh, it's profitable, guys. That's another big thing. High margins. Oh, a lot of Asians that are not Japanese in America own sushi restaurants or sell sushi because it is a much higher margin item 
than probably like their own native cuisine to, guys, to produce a market. Guys, people are paying like five, six, seven, eight dollars per piece of food. Anyways, David, uh, those are the reasons why sushi is so big right now. But let's talk about the the other aspects of this. Yeah, I mean, I think that it's had a really interesting arc like anime in the same way that anime was ostracized at one point in American society. Now it's hyper mainstream. Sushi at one point was ostracized uh, at a time several decades ago. Now you would say it's hyper embraced. Do you think it's kind of interesting how like sushi was getting popular and then poke got real popular, the, but the poke bubble kind of burst and then contracted. And then now people are back on to like, yo, I just want to eat regular sushi, not this poke stuff. Yeah, and I think probably the most heavily overlooked aspect of sushi, because sushi actually is referring to the vinegar rice, is like the rice aspect, Andrew, go figure, is overlooked in America. Mm. Like you're, you're the, 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 like the pre-made sushi you're going to get from like Snow Fox, the rice is going to be like on a Japanese scale, like a two out of ten. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're just not going to focus on it in America versus obviously in Asia. Uh, David, do you have any insight on how sushi is, uh, fish is raised? Because now there's a lot of different ways because it's not all wild caught. A lot of it is farmed. Some of it's even called ranched, like tunas, you know, which are usually pretty big fish. They sometimes catch them young and then they put them in they one of those. Them. They adopt them and they, they, they catch them when they're young and then they put them in those like net Bodies of water. I don't right. know what they're called. The farming. So imagine nets. you're a big blue fin tuna and you just were born in the deep blue sea and then you just get put in a net. Yeah. <laughs> There's also a lot of mislabeling controversy. Like a few years ago, there was like a whole thing of like, yo, the fish that you're eating at your restaurant isn't actually the fish that you want. Anyways, guys, sushi is a whole big complicated thing. But anyways, I guess the scare is that. There's not going to be any fish left in like 15 years. Right. Basically, people were saying that Costco sushi is not good. It's just comparable to pretty much any like Vaughn's grocery store sushi, AFC, which is like right. a big, you know, like sub brand, mm -hmm. like an outsourced brand. Um, I will say this. The sushi that you get from a Japanese market like Mitsua is always going to be better than the sushi at Costco. Right. Yeah, because just like who's making it and who's the recipe. Someone said, nah, we do not need sushi at Costco. Just bring back the combination pizza. Apparently, they took that off the list. Oh. Dude, you know, it's, it's too expensive, man. The Supreme Pizza was, was fire. I mean, it wasn't fire, but it was worth it. Right. A lot of people were just saying that you, the only thing you should be able to do at Costco is buy either sashimi or poke fish, and then you got to cook the rice at home. Because if it's already just sitting out with the rice, it's going to get hard and stale and cold, and it's just not going to work. Right. But if Costco's pushing volume, and guys, we made a video recently about why Asians love Costco so much. David, how much was the, su was, was the idea to serve sushi due to the high level of Asian customers at Costco? But, but... I'd have to take a look at the at the combinations that they're rolling out. If it's all just Philadelphia rolls and California rolls, I'd be like, I don't know if it was for the Asians. Okay, but what if they got nigiri and sashimi? Which I think they do have a little bit of, but I'm saying that they got to focus on making it more authentic and making it look more like Costco Tokyo. Yo, man, isn't it going to be crazy, David? You can buy Kirkland white teas and then you're just buying Kirkland sushi and it looks exactly the same. And it has the Kirkland signature tag on it. That's crazy. Um, I'll say this, man. I, I think actually one of the overlooked aspects is I think a lot of um, sushi, sushi consumption in America was driven by celebrities. Oh, A lot of celebrities in L.A. constantly talk about their favorite sushi spots. Right. Whether it's a Timothy Chalamet, Michael B. Jordan, you know, the, the Kardashians, uh, the Jenners. Nobu, 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 Nobu. Yeah. And um, I do think that fish farms, like, they, they got to address this situation somehow, right? And either in the future, just uh, the prices of fish are going to be super high or, like, they'll just have to figure out a new ecosystem. Right, right. I mean... I guess fish farms are going to increase to grow because you can't catch everything wild. I mean, even if you look at a lot of the salmon pieces, if it's bright orange, it's more or less farm raised because uh, uh, actual live salmon, uh, wild salmon is darker in, in flesh color. So I guess a lot of the sushi you're already eating is farm raised. It's going to continue. Uh, are you going to guys going to try Costco sushi? I guess if I walk into a Costco, I'll give it a shot. You know what, Costco? I just want more authentic sushi recipes. You okay. guys can sell it though. So you want because I guess if the if the fish are all gonna get depleted, somebody's gonna deplete it. So so you're looking for the Costco Chirasi bowl. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Uh, let us know what you guys think about this. Is this the end of fish? 
because Costco serving sushi now is going to be millions and millions of fish over the next, I don't know how many years. So you guys let us know what you think in the comments down below. Would you try it? Is it any good? Have you tried it? And uh, yeah, I guess this is, has sushi peaked. So let us know uh, what you think. Hit that like button. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.